Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use my localization plugin for RBG Maple series. As you can see here, we have some dialogues fully in English. Now for most localization plugins out there, you have to change your in-editor text into something like this. I honestly don't see any benefit if you do that, because it's destructive and you can't see what's inside your engine. So this plugin will help you get rid of that problem. Firstly, let's change extract text to true. This means when you run the game, it will automatically generate for you a translation file. So you don't need to do anything else. If you also want to extract everything else inside your database, like weapons, items, then you have the option. Now, we'll go to the language. This is where you add your language list. It's pretty easy. You look at it and you understand it immediately. I'll create a Japanese language. So this means you extract two languages. Now let's close that and run the game and wait to see the magic happens. As you can see here, it's asking you to generate a file. Here is the translation file. You can open this with Microsoft Excel or any similar software. As you can see here, we have a long list of everything inside the game. All you need to do is translate it and put it to the rightful column because we have just created a Japanese language so I'm gonna translate this message to Japanese real quick so now we have a Google translation version of Japanese I'm gonna try open the game and see how it goes as you can see the in editor text are still fully in English Now I'm going to open language option and change it to Japanese. As you can see, it's working. But we're facing an issue. The Japanese texts are longer than the English. So the texts are being covered by the game message window. So to fix this, simply open the translation file and add some break line. You know, the way you do it in Origin Maker. So obviously I don't know Japanese, so I'm just adding some random word line here. Now let's test the game one more time. And it worked. So that's it for this video. The plugin can do so much more, but I'll cover that in the next videos. Thank you guys for watching.